For generations, Catholic education in the Archdiocese of Washington has helped form leaders for our church, our local communities, and our nation. Julian Nelson is just one example of how Catholic schools contribute to the well-being of our community in a way that enriches us all. You know, Julian is incredibly curious and he exercises a great deal of initiative. He's always eager to learn something, whether or not it's part of the syllabus for a course. Julian Nelson is just the exception to the rule uh, in, in all capacities and all phases. Well, I think he's incredibly well-rounded. Um, you know, it's not many students who are good football players and do track year-round and are um, intellectually curious. He's, I can't really say a coach's dream, he's an educator's dream. Uh, not to mention a parent's dream. He's just the best of all worlds. Me personally, I enjoy the family atmosphere of the school and I very much enjoy the classes. It's very nice to know that you kind of get the opportunity to take in other kids when they come into the school. You kind of take them under your wing and it's almost like being a big brother or a big sister, especially when you reach the junior grade. And I like that that happens so easily at Archbishop Carroll. Archbishop Carroll is privileged to be an international baccalaureate school and the international baccalaureate has a set of characteristics that they refer to as the learner profile that have to do with critical thinking and initiative and questioning. And I think cultivating all of those habits of mind are crucial to helping Julian be successful. I like the classes I take with people who I find to be either closet geniuses or very forthcoming geniuses and their perspectives on knowledge that we share enriches my experience. So I like to hear the different perspectives that other people have. Archbishop Carroll works really hard to provide all of its students an opportunity to challenge themselves and expand their horizons. So Julian, like all of our students, has an opportunity to grow to his fullest extent. My dreams for the future begin with me going to college, preferably a college that has an excellent computer science program. You know, as a student athlete at Archbishop Carroll, Julian has had some incredible triumphs in an incredibly challenging athletic conference. And he's also learned what it's like to lose and pick himself up and try all over again. First off in track, I need to be able to do things for myself and by myself so that I can accomplish great things. From football, I learned that in addition to doing things by yourself and for yourself, you also have to be able to do things for other people. The dynamic is that track is an individual sport while football is a team sport. I think those two sports complement each other well in my life in teaching me that I have to work with others and I have to build myself up so that I can help myself and others achieve better and bigger things. To see him step up, be a great inspiration, as he is in the classroom and the whole school academically, but then his efforts on the football field and in track, but then to step up as a spiritual leader. Oh gosh, it doesn't get any better than that. You know, we can provide an intellectual basis for a student's faith, but then we have to take a step back and let the Holy Spirit do its work. I came into Carroll completely ignorant of God, religion, and anything Catholic. As I learned more in my sophomore and junior year, I felt a stronger and stronger attraction to the faith and I felt the need to become Catholic, to just kind of certify it. I mean, it fit in with my lifestyle and it fit in with everything that I believe. I just felt like I just needed to take the final step. His faith journey has, has been tremendous to see how he's grown in his faith. And I think that's the presence of the opportunity of what Carol has presented here. I think his legacy will live on here for, for a long time.